people, Lord God. Father, we know, Lord God, that you are our way maker, Lord God. Father, we know, Lord God, that you kept us another day. You kept us another hour, Lord God. And we bless your name. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for what you're about to do on this evening, Lord God. We ask you today, Father, that you will show up in this place, Lord God. Show up in this place, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we go down to the hospitals, Lord God. We ask you to, Lord God, that you will touch the bodies of the people, Lord God, who are laying in the bed, Lord God. We ask you today, Father, that you will touch them, Lord God, from the top of their heads, Lord God, to the soles of their feet, Father. Father, we know that you are a healer. Father, we know that you are a keeper. Father, we know that you are a way maker, Lord God, that you kept us, Lord God, that you healed us, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are king of kings. We thank you, Lord God, because you are Lord of lords. We thank you, Lord God, because you are the great that I am. You are the leader of our battle. You are our God and Lord of Star. You are our will in the middle of our will. You are our shelter in the time of storm. And we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. Because you made God. You bless your name. You are a healer. 
kingdom. And in your wonderful name we pray. Amen. So we're going to go into our scripture which comes from Psalm 100. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye there, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And as he has kept us and not for ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pastures. He enter the gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. We be thankful unto him and we bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures through all generations and his word is already blessed. We want to turn over to the praise team. Dance, rejoice, dance, rejoice. 
thank God. Can we clap our hands with it and thank God for the Mount Sinai Baptist Church who has come to help us celebrate. Come on, you can do better than that. I often say, and I get on my church, and I know the Lord has blessed me. I do preach out quite a bit, but I get on them all the time. I said, when I go out to preach, I want to see all y'all there. I said, because when y'all don't come, I'm just an evangelist. When y'all come, y'all make me a pastor. Because a pastor has somebody following him, somebody that will go with him behind him. So Mount Sinai, I thank you on today for supporting your pastor. It does my heart good to see you here supporting your pastor. Come on, let's thank God for Mount Sinai one more time. Hallelujah to God. We thank God for these awesome musicians today who have blessed us all weekend long. They have been magnificent all weekend long. We thank God for the angel of this edifice, Pastor Damon Mack, who has opened up his doors to us. Come on, let's do it in the net room that y'all sitting down. We thank God for Pastor Damon Mack for opening up his doors to us. Glory be to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm just so peacock happy to be here on today. We have been with Jesus all weekend long. We started on Thursday night. We had seven souls that was baptized on Thursday night, and we're happy about that. We're glad about that. On yesterday, we were blessed at the 12 noon hour. Our Pastor Jonathan Chapel came and he preached such a mighty word on yesterday to us. The power of God moved so strong and so heavy on yesterday. And I am just so excited because I believe what the song says about Jacob's ladder that every round goes higher and higher. I believe that Pastor Daquan Williamson is going to come and he's going to take us even higher in the name of the Lord. Uh, would you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor and say, I don't know what you come to do. No, that was the wrong neighbor. They ain't talking back to you. Look at another neighbor and tell him, say, I don't know what you come to do. Well, I know what Mr. Mom's going to do, but she does it all the time. But the rest of them, I don't know what you come to do. But look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I came to praise the Lord. Uh, I want to do this real quickly. I want to pause for what I like to call station identification. When you're riding the subway, you get to certain stations, they will announce to you the station that you are at so that you don't miss your stop and so that you know where you are. Would you help me pause for station identification? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, this room, tell them the entire world. Is designated for praises. So tell me, say, if you didn't come to praise him, you might not want to sit on my floor. Because if I begin to tell you how good the Lord has been to me, you wouldn't even believe it. But I never praised him. Because he's been good. So I'm like, my church now. I just tell somebody, I got a praise him. He's been that good. I take too much push in the day. Cause I got no wash. But when my voice stops, my feet continue. I got a praise him. I got a praise him. You are a praise him. Oh, 
moving on to heaven. I told you, if you wait on music, if you wait on the clip chat, your praise ain't real. Cause sometimes I'm in the supermarket, brother, and I get to thinking all the time that I could have been dead and gone. And at the supermarket line, I begin to say, hallelujah.
Now y'all take everybody else to church up. But come to y'all home to church and don't want to put them. Is that what you mean? Glory to God. I'm excited. Y'all sound like y'all got some stirred up wings. All right, go ahead. I hear y'all every time. I hear y'all more than enough time. I hear y'all enough time. Clap your hands one more time and let's give God a shout of praise. Glory to God. Listen, we'll save the rest for later. I promise you, after you experience the powerful ministry of Pastor Dick Martin Williamson, everything in this house will be swinging on the chandeliers. I'm going to ask that you grab the strongest chandelier you can find, though, because anything you break, we got to pay for it and be replaced. Praise the Lord. So, which one is the, that's the, all right. Uh, uh, Brother DJ, he's a member of this church. He said, that one right there is the strongest chandelier. So, if you feel like swinging, you swing on that one right there. Other ones might be a little fragile. Look at your neighbor and say, give your face a break. You look better when you smile. Praise the Lord. We are so glad and so honored to be in this place and in this space. Glory be unto God. We are entering into a new season and a new phase of our ministry. Uh, due to the disaster of Hurricane Ida, we were displaced from our church building. Everything in our building was destroyed. Uh, it broke my heart almost to go in there. But it's funny, uh, Pastor William said it pays to obey God. Uh, the Sunday prior to the hurricane, and uh, Minister, I almost called you inspiring. I forgot we licensed y'all on Friday. Y'all ain't inspiring no more. Praise the Lord. But Minister Owsley, uh, I was, I called her. I said, I feel the Lord telling me to close the church down on Sunday and begin looking for another building. I said, and I feel like we need to take everything out on Monday and put it in storage. I said, I don't know why. I just feel that way. And Sunday came, and of course, I was so tired after church. I just said, I'm gonna go home. And I went home and I usually I go back to the church at least twice a week. But by Tuesday or Wednesday, the hurricane had happened. And when we got to the church, everything that the Lord told me to take out three days before was destroyed. And so it pays to obey God. But the good thing about God is even when you don't obey him, he'll still make up for you. It takes maturity to say that, to be truthful. Sometimes I disobey God. And I got myself in something and he still came and got me out. He's just that kind of God. And so we have been slightly displaced. But I thank God because God will never leave you without direction. And oftentimes disaster is a part of your destiny. It's a part of a road to destiny. And so I thank God for the disaster that we have had. Listen, we have had such a great weekend. All weekend, as I said on Friday, we baptized seven souls. They went down fully submerged in water. Come on, can we thank God for that? On Friday night, we were able to license uh, officially uh, two of our missionaries. We thank God one of them is not here, but we thank God for missionary Latoya Bean, who was licensed as a missionary on Friday. We thank God for missionary Pamela Newton in her absence. We thank God for Minister Tamaya Owlsley who was licensed on Friday night. And we thank God for my lovely and beautiful and fine and wearing that hat and the mother of both of my only two kids. And I gotta stop right there because if I don't stop right there, we're gonna have to go on vacation somewhere by ourselves. Praise the Lord Jesus. I thank God for my wife. That was very Married men, you gotta learn how to celebrate your wife. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And I thank God we were able to ordain her on Friday as an elder in the Lord's church. And I thank God these are those who have proven faithful the past year and even before that. Because I believe every good church starts with a meeting, not a service. See, I wish I'd have had somebody to help me right there. You can't tell me you got a good church and it started with a church service. No, you got to have a meeting, get all them bylaws together, get stuff in order. Praise the Lord. And so they, these are some who have been with us since our very first meeting. And so I thank God they know the Bible is in and out. They know what we can and can't do. And so they are qualified to step into these offices that they hold now. And so I thank God for them. And so listen, you all have been doing wonderful um, this past weekend in your giving. I thank God. I know that.
this is a Sunday. This is our regular service time on Sundays at 4 p.m. Uh, but I want to thank you for those of you, you know, we usually will raise our time and our general offering uh, at this time. But I want to thank God for every time, uh, every time that they paid their tithes this weekend, uh, this week, stand to your feet really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Can you clap your hands and thank God for these tithes? Oftentimes, you can see that oftentimes growing up in church, I come to find out that we'll use any excuse, church anniversary, past anniversary, past this, past that, church that, to hide. We got to give to the anniversary, we got assessments, but no, they have given to the anniversary, but they did not forget their time. Because your time is what you return to God. That's what belongs to God. And so I thank you for those of you who have been faithful to your time and also have been giving in the general offering. Uh, we've got one more to go. It's about offering time. So uh, I, I love, I told them, I said, I love the Baptist church. Glory to God. People don't know that my grandfather uh, has been a Baptist pastor since, I think Moses was a deacon in my grandfather's church. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's going to watch this and get me, but I think Moses was a deacon in, uh, in uh, what you call Holly's church. Praise the Lord. But uh, I love the Baptist church because I just love how, how they come. When they come, they come deep. They came, they came to the office. They said, they said Pastor, now sound as usher, Lord is ready to take over. They're ready to take their place. I said, you let them do whatever they want to do. This is their church today. And so I thank God for them. Now listen, uh, Pastor Daquan Williamson is going to come. He's going to lead us in giving. You see those two ushers back there at the door? If you try to go out the door, they ain't going to let you out. Y'all see them? They two, they two real strong men in them black and white suits. If y'all, you see that? He didn't put up his fish. You see that? If y'all try to go out that door, they ain't going to let y'all out. Now you know we're going to... Y'all know we got a, a, a Baptist church here, so you wait for the officers. Praise the Lord. You're going back over there on that side and wait. Let's see how many officers Pastor Williamson is going to bring with him first. Praise the Lord. So uh, now I want y'all, this is something that we do in our church. If they're coming in while the offering is going on, you only let them in if they got money. If they don't got no money, they ain't bringing I'm playing. Y'all just see y'all got all deep on me. If they ain't bringing no money, tell them they got to wait till the offering is over. All right? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So listen, I want you all to grab your wallets, grab your pocketbooks, grab those, your various devices. Some of the women may have to go in your secret stash, go in your secret stash, and let's begin to prepare ourselves for giving. Is that all right? Come on, let's clap our hands on the seat. Pastor Dave Paul Williamson as he's coming. To the utmost, Jesus said, Jesus said he will pick you up and turn your life around. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus said, come on. Sign to the utmost. Jesus said, come on church. To the utmost. Jesus said. going to call our trusted child to come. Pastor, we want the correct spelling of the church name. Okay. Pastor, we're going to start this offering off with $700. Come on, put your hands together. This is my friend. This is my brother. And so we came prepared Amen, because we didn't want to waste any time in the service. Amen, so Mount Sinai, you don't have to move because we have taken care of our responsibility. We just want to make sure that the check is in the right name. Amen, so our trustees are going to come, but those who did not give, we're going to ask you if you can come with a $20 seed, amen, to bless this ministry. Somebody shout, this ministry. Amen, we want to bless this ministry, so our trustees are going to come Pastor, actually, they don't have to stand. They would just put in the basket, and the trustees of Remnant would take over. Amen? Amen. Ushers, would you come and march the house at this time? Listen, one, real quick, one second. 
those of you who are giving, I know that we are in the technological age and people don't carry cash anymore. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are cash app a home. That's a word I made up, which means that you can cash app. The cash app is that y'all that see. This is why I like the mothers. They laugh at my jokes. Praise the Lord. Uh, the cash app is dollar sign. Remnant of Judah, CA. If you need the spelling of the church name, just look for one of those that they'll be able to help you with the spelling of the church names. Remnant of Judah, CA. If, shh, if you don't have cash app, but you want to swipe, Minister Owsley, if you don't have cash app, but you want to swipe, um, Minister Owsley is right here, raise your hand, and she can be able to help you with your swipe. Amen? Amen. You're now in the hands of our ushers. Thank you. 